Hi folks and uh, greetings from the north to all you lovely folks in the fellowship at Deerham. Uh, greetings and Easter blessings. Um, I was um, uh, reading this morning from Celtic Daily Prayer, the uh, morning office, and uh, we have in our household uh, a prayer basket with the names of lots of our family and friends and also those places that we're linked with. And you know what? Out of the prayer pot this morning came... Uh, my cousin Evelyn and her husband Clive from Top Farm, Marsham. Uh, Lena and George, uh, Lithuanian and Hungarian friends of ours in Glasgow. And Deerham Baptist Church. So in praying for you this morning, I thought this would be a good time to, to share with you and do my little contribution to your thoughts for the day. Um, Shirley and I are well. Uh, we are essentially isolated here in our cloister here in North Allerton, North Yorkshire. We should have been over in Ireland celebrating Easter with our community and this week having holiday with our family. And I guess like many of you, you're now separated from family and friends because of what we're experiencing. I've been furloughed by the Northumbria community that I work for a couple of days a week and uh, so I have no excuse not to get on with writing for which I'd value your prayers. In one sense, this is not a time for many words, I think few words, uh, because this is a sombre and troubled time. Gosh, journeying through Holy Week last week, um, never did the kind of journey from the kind of adulation and celebration and crowds of Palm Sunday turn into the, the pain and the agony, the darkness, the isolation of the Garden of Gethsemane and the just suffering of Good Friday and the bewilderment and abandonment and the waiting of Easter Saturday Eve. And I think we identify more with wondering and praying and lamenting than we do perhaps with celebrating. I know too many people who've contracted COVID-19 and uh, know of a couple of people who have died as a consequence. I was speaking to a London pastor, a Baptist pastor last week who'd conducted four funerals in the last 10 days, three of them virtually online, but two of those funerals were for London bus drivers, both under 45 years of age. The world is at war with this pandemic, and I believe that we are seeing the dawning of a new era, a new world era. There will be no return to normality as we've known it, which of course has huge opportunities as well as many challenges. So I just want to share with you what, you know, what does faith and the message of Easter Sunday have to say to us? Uh, it's lovely that to have this opportunity to share with you just a few thoughts uh, during what is known as Eastertide, the days after Easter Sunday, or what I prefer to refer it to as the, in the Orthodox tradition, the Eastern Orthodox tradition, they refer to it as the Bright Week. So. Let me share with you on this bright week a, a reading from John's Gospel, chapter 20, verse 19 through to 23. That Sunday evening, the disciples were meeting behind locked doors because they were afraid of the authorities. Suddenly, Jesus was standing there among them and he said, peace be with you. As he spoke, he showed them the wounds in his hands and his side. They were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. And again he said, Peace be with you. For as the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. And then he breathed upon them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. I, um, For those of you who follow me on Facebook, I returned to Facebook. I've been off it for Lent, but I returned to it yesterday and I wrote these words. And they seem relevant to share with you the fellowship at Deerham. May the risen Christ be known this day as on that first Easter in the unexpected places of our hearts and minds, in the gardens and the workplaces, at breakfasts and barbecues, as we walk and talk in our wondering and our weeping, in our praying and our waiting, in our locked down rooms and homes, among believer and seeker, the sceptic and the doubter, the bewildered and the broken. 
to those who are at sea and all those who feel at sea, to the confused and weary, the anxious and the afraid, in the breaking of bread and in the unexplained paradoxes, mystery, questioning and exploring. Risen Christ, break through the walls of all that keeps us from encountering and recognising you. Speak your peace and breathe upon us, Lord, that we may breathe your peace into a troubled world. May the Lord bless you and take care and keep you safe. May you continue to love God and love your neighbour wherever they are, be they near or far. And the peace of all peace be with us all. Bless you.